Hi, I'm Allenson Norton. I was the son of Allen and Lucy Wilkinson Norton on March 26, 1814. My parents were living in Granville, Washington County, New York. I married Sally Maria Freeman when I was 22 and we had seven daughters. I was a wool carter and clothier. I apprenticed in that occupation as a youth. I would take the wool and make it into broadcloth, full cloth, and various kinds of flannel and dress goods. This occupied my time in the summer. In the winter I taught school. In January of 1843, Mormon missionaries came to this area. From the first meeting he attended, I was impressed by their teachings and testimony. I invited the missionaries to hold meetings at my home while I investigated the gospel. By February our family was ready to be baptized, including myself, my wife, mother, brother and two sisters. My father died 1841, leaving me largely responsible for the care of my mother, brother and two sisters. Like many of the early converts, I desired to move to the headquarters of the church. In the fall of 1845, I organized the branch where I served as president for He Journey, and in October we all set out for Nauvoo. We spent the winter of 1847 in winter quarters. By January of 1848, our family settled in Farmersville, Pottawatomie County, Iowa. Early in 1849 he was made bishop of the Farmersville branch. Farmersville was an early settlement and was in very close proximity to Little Pigeon. Henry Algernon Terry, a prominent citizen, put in the Frontier Guardian in 1851 that his house is at Farmersville, on Little Pigeon, eight miles north of Canesville. The advertisement continues, this place is situated on the most public road north of Canesville. It is one and a half miles from Bullock's Mill and two one half from Cooley's Mill. A list from the Farmersville branch was compiled in February, 1848 to indicate which families were ready to travel west. In spring 1851, with the John Smith Company, my family which consisted of my mother, my wife, three daughters and an adopted son, started across the plains. We reached the Salt Lake Valley on September 17, 1851, remaining there until November when they were asked by Brigham Young to help build the new settlement in Provo. My wife, Sarah passed away on January 21, 1852 in Provo. After remarrying and moving several times, I spent my last days in McCammon, Bannock County, Idaho. I was called as a bishop again when I was nearly 81 years old. I lived until April 19, 1904. That is my sojourn in the wilderness story.